line and the distance between each lines should be same and after that we should write the name of respective views this parabola as the cutting plane is parallel to x y line you can see here this cutting plane is parallel to x y line this parabola represents the true shape of the section so you write it's a true shape right this one is the true shape this is the front view and this is the sectional top view you write the name of respective views so this is the solution of the problem here also seven marks are there two marks for this front view and top view two marks for this front view two marks for this sectional top view and true shape and one mark for name of three views and various dimensions we should we should also insert the dimension let we insert the dimension with standard nomenclature like this this is the diameter so diameter should be written like this in phi and the diameter of this cone is 75 mm so phi 75 should be written here in radius dimension should not be inserted as it's a circle for full circle the dimension of diameter should be inserted in the diagram if it's an arc then we should go for the radius and height is 80 mm so it should be inserted like this here aligned system of dimensioning is used to insert the dimension which is widely used in small drawings if the drawing size is too big then we should go for unidirectional dimensioning system <coughs> so this is the solution of problem number 4 now example number 5 the data is given like this <coughs> a pentagonal pyramid is a standing on hp on its base whose one side is perpendicular to vertical plane it is cut by a section plane inclined at 45 degree to horizontal plane and perpendicular to vertical plane and passes through the midpoint of the axis side is 45 mm and height is 75 mm here pentagonal pyramid is given and it is standing on its own horizontal plane so the data could be written in short form like this pentagonal pyramid 45 by 75 standing on H hp on its base one side is perpendicular to vertical plane and it is cut by a cutting plane 45 degree inclined to hp passing through the midpoint of the axis so this is the pentagonal prism it is having one pentagonal face and five triangular faces which are joined to this apex point and as it is given that one side is perpendicular to vertical plane so first draw a vertical line or line perpendicular to x y line like this or vertical line having length equal to side length 45 mm like this this is the side length of this pentagonal shape so taking this as a base draw a pentagon or a regular pentagon having side length 45 mm you can use tricircle method or universal method or method of angle to draw this pentagon then name the end points a b c d and e five end points of this pentagon and find out its midpoint so for that join point e with the midpoint of bc and join point d with the midpoint of ab and this is the point of intersection and from that point draw an axis this axis is the axis of this solid and height is given as 75 mm so mark a point at a height of 75 mm on this axis and draw projection lines from point ab ce and projection line from point d and join all these points to the apex point o des like this and oe would be visible in the front view oc would be visible and oe would be invisible so visible line invisible line is overlapped by the visible line so we have to draw the visible line name the end points apex point a des b des the base points c des and e des point d des and apex point o des would be here in top view oa is the slant edge so it would be visible 
OB, join OB, slant edge, OC, OD and join OE as well. So this is the top view and front view of this pentagonal prism in such a way that the axis is perpendicular to xy line and one side is perpendicular, perpendicular to vertical plane that is AB. Now it is given that it is cut by a cutting plane 45 degree inclined to vertical plane like this. So cutting plane would be here. So find out midpoint of the axis because it is given that the cutting plane bisect the axis. So midpoint would be at a distance of 37.5 millimeter from the base somewhere here and draw a cutting plane or line which passes through this midpoint and makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line. Here also the cutting plane is making some angle with xy line. So front view will be cut and sectional top view would be there. So this is the cutting plane line name and this portion will retain with us this bottom portion and upper one would be removed. Now again here find out the points of intersection this insert the dimension 45 degree angle. So first this is the cutting plane and the points of intersection between the slant edge and the cutting plane would be here. The one point would be here somewhere here. Here O dash A dash and O dash B dash two lines are there. So two points would be here. So from this point draw a straight vertical line and that vertical line will cut O A at one point somewhere here and O B at this point somewhere here. So we have identified two points on OA and OB. Similarly, from this point intersection of this O dash C dash and this cutting plane would be here. So from this point draw a straight vertical line that will cut OE at this point, OC at this point. Here is the point. So these are the two more two more points in the top view and what is about this point? This is the cutting plane and O dash D dash is the general is the slant edge. So from this point draw a straight vertical line and when it where it will cut in the top view here is O dash D dash. So O D at O D it will cut over here. So this is the fifth point for this irregular pentagon. Now join all these points on A, B, C, D and E with the straight line as it is a straight lined solid like this. So this irregular pentagonal shape represents the sectional top view and here pyramid is there. So curvature line would not be there and cutting plane is also straight line. So no any curvature portion would be there. Erase this one as these lines are not needed. This one should be erased. This also should be erased and this is the sectional top view and draw name the endpoints point number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In the top view draw section lines in this portion like this and this section lines makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line like this and this is a sectional top view name the views. Similarly this is a front view. Now what to do to draw its true shape? So for that transfer all these points to this front view 1 days, 2 days, 3 days, 4 days and 5 days and from all these points draw a line perpendicular to this cutting plane line from 1 days, 2 days to 5 days. From all these points draw a cutting plane line. So draw a line perpendicular to this cutting plane and measure the distance of all these points in a top view. Say distance of point number 1 from x y line this is the distance transfer it to over here. Similarly distance of point number 2 from x y line measure this distance and transfer it over here. So point number 2 would be here. Similarly from point number 3 days draw a line perpendicular to this cutting plane line and measure the distance of point number 3 from x y line measure this distance transfer that point over here. So point number 3 would be here point number 5. So measure the distance of point number 5 from x y line and so on. Similarly point number 3 would be here and point number 4 is here. So join all these points 
with the straight line again and a section lines like this which makes an angle of 45 degree with this inclined cutting plane and this shows the true shape of this section so i hope this three and th this, this three solution is clear to you this is the true shape front view and sectional top view for this pentagonal pyramid here also you should insert the dimension once in the figure 75 37.5 and 45 mm in the is the side length of this pentagonal pyramid so this also carries seven marks three mark uh, two marks for this front view three marks for this sectional top view three plus two five plus two for this true shape of the section now last example example number six of cone the dimension is given a cone of diameter 70 millimeter say 100 millimeter height is resting on its ground on its curved face with its axis parallel to vertical plane it is cut by an auxiliary inclined plane inclined at 30 degree to horizontal plane and passing through a midpoint passing through a point on the axis 15 millimeter from the base draw the projections if the apex is retained here the condition is given that the apex is retained and bottom portion is removed that is important which is different from the previous problems this is the short data a cone is given draw a circle which shows the top view of this cone insert the dimension 70 millimeter draw center line and draw its front view which is triangle of heights 100 millimeter insert the dimension 100 millimeter so these are the steps which is known to us divide this top view into equal number of parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 and it is given that it is resting on its slant edge so draw this front view tilt this triangle on the xy line like this then draw this problem so how to draw this problem and how to find out the position of respective points let me draw that problem up to now we have drawn now from all these points draw projection lines from this top view and how to draw this curvature shape that we know so i am skipping that step i am directly coming to the the last step of this problem that is the cutting plane this is known to us how to draw now cutting plane is given which is passing through the point at a distance of 15 millimeter from the base so from this base from here mark a point at a distance of 15 millimeter on this axis so it is somewhere here and from that point draw a cutting plane line like this which makes an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane this is very important step rest all steps are of alike in nature but this step is very important you should know how to draw this cutting plane rest all would be just one kind of revision only and here it is given that the apex is retained means this is the apex point name it as odes is it retains with us so this portion retains with us and this portion is to be removed so this bottom one we should darken this portion as it is the remaining portion like this so it should be darkened now from these points we name the end points say point number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 similarly that too should be transferred 1 days 2 days 3 days 4 days 5 days 6 days 7 days and 8 days that you know so i am skipping that step as well point number 5 days is here point number 1 days is here 2 days 3 days 4 days 6 days 7 days and 8 days now find out the point of intersection between the cutting plane and this generator so first point would be here 
intersection of odd days five days in this cutting plane here is the point so from that point draw straight vertical line that will cut o5 at this point vertical line from this point o5 from this point so here is point number p5 as it's a top view p5 it's a front view p5 days would be here uh, and and all these steps are similar to the previous problem just the difference is identification of the points and position of the cutting plane here position of cutting plane is different than in the previous problem here is point number p4 days and p6 days two points would be here so on p4 and p6 two points are here here is point number p6 and here is point number p4 similarly here the cutting plane is there cutting plane is this this is the generator from 3 and 7 so draw straight vertical line from 3 and 7 it will cut generator o3 and o7 at two points so here is point number p3 on o3 generator and o7 generator point number p7 would be here and what's about this bottom one this one which is on the circular base and this cutting plane is there so from here also draw straight vertical line and that would remain straight on top view as well so join this with the straight line like this and as this bottom portion retains with us this curvature shape would be visible it would retain it with us and join all these points with a smooth curve so they should be like this they should be joined like this and here smooth curvature shape would be there and it will not be any regular curvature shape this one and this straight line would be there and this is the sectional view so draw section lines in this true shape like this this section lines represents its uh, sectional top view as it, it it is not true shape because the cutting plane is not perpendicular is not parallel to horizontal plane now what's about this portion what do you think whether it would be visible or not think about it yes of course it is visible so that should be joined like this that should be joined like this and 